Ahoy there makers, let's take a closer look at the Cosmic Unicorn. The Cosmic Unicorn is epic. It's a supersized programmable 32 by 32 LED pixel sign matrix, but with wireless connectivity and oodles of extras. We heard that you like the Galactic Unicorn, so we've made one even bigger. The Cosmic Unicorn is a beautiful all-in-one RP2040 powered LED matrix for when you want to convey information fabulously and ginormously. Here's some of the features. So it features 1024 RGB LED pixels arranged in a 32 by 32 grid. So it contains 1024 RGB LED pixels on a grid arranged in an 8 inch square, all with individual colour and brightness control. We're mad in love with these squircle LEDs that with their round apertures and their built in diffusion. They look great on video as well with the RP2040 Magic. This means that we can update them really quickly. We clock this at over 300 frames per second. So no brightness stepping when it's filmed and they're perfect for adding background in your your stream hint <laughs> they also have the 2.4 wireless connectivity courtesy of the raspberry pi pico w aboard and that means that we can get all kinds of data from the internet let's have a look at some more of the features so there's even an onboard amp and little speaker for bleepy sounds futuristic noises there's a battery connector as well so you can power it without even having to be tethered to a usb cable and every cosmic unicorn comes with a pair of sleek legs so it can stand up all on its own it also has a selection of mountain holes so if you want to prefer to do something different it also has like a little lanyard connector as well if you really want to go crazy you can use it to scroll fancy messages display generative art or embed it into some fancy armor to to impress your enemies. Alternatively, if you want to go big or go home, you could build an epically large cube by buying six of these all together. I'm sure somebody will do that. Who's going to be the first? So what's new? So as well as adding the extra 441 LEDs, we've added some new wireless examples as well. We're now using the magic of NumPy to generate some super speedy graphical effects using MicroPython. And there is even a alpha version of the Bluedicon firmware, which turns the Cosmic Unicorn or Galactic Unicorn into a Bluetooth speaker with some fancy visualizations. Let's have a look at some more of the specifications. So of course it has the Raspberry Pi Pico W board, which means you get that dual Cortex M0 Plus running up to 133 megahertz with 264K of RAM. Also has the built-in two meg onboard flash for storage and it's programmable by the USB micro B connector. Of course it has the 2.4 wireless as well. It has 1024 RGB LED pixels in a 32 by 32 grid and they are 3.5 millimeter LEDs with the rounded square apertures. They are six millimeter LED spacing if you wanted to create your own little grid to go over the top of this. And they are driven by the 12 FM607 constant current LED drivers. There's also a little 3.2 watt mono I2S amplifier with a 30 millimeter one watt speaker. There's a photo resistor right in the very middle of the board. You'll, if you look at it from an angle, you can see it there. And that's for light sensing. So we can detect what the light levels currently are and adjust the brightness accordingly. And there are nine tactile user buttons as well that you can program. There's of course a reset button. There is two Quest connectors which are the Quick Stem AQT connectors for adding additional functionality and sensors and there's also the JSTPH connector for adding a battery as well so 5.5 max on that. It comes fully assembled, no soldering required and it comes, ah oh, there it is. I was wondering where that spelling mistake was when I was preparing my slides. The C++ and MicroPython libraries you're not supposed to see this schematic bit there and then the dimensional drawing as well so if you want to get all the specs of exactly how wide this is there's a nice dimensional drawing too I always find they're quite useful when you're putting things together. So about the Pico on board. So our new Pico board products have a built-in Raspberry Pi Pico W. This means you can get all the advantages of the RP2040 processor, a speedy, fast, dual-core ARM processor, and also the dynamic ecosystem, which is growing all the time. This included with a choice of different programming methods to experiment with. And most excitingly, of course, the Pico W brings with it wireless connectivity. And that means we can communicate with others and also with the internet too. So the kit includes a cosmic unicorn with the speaker attached. You get two extra long metal legs so that this thing can stand up. And you also get the you also get the micro B to USB A cable as well. Software wise, which is I think the secret source of this, to make it easy, we've provided all kinds of examples. There's some really, really nice uh, demo reel of examples. I'm going to have a look at those in a second. So if you're using C++ or the pirate branded MicroPython to program your Unicorn, you'll have access to the Pico Graphics Library, which has all kinds of handy functions for displaying text, shapes, and images too. Really easy to use. I've done quite a few projects with this myself. And you can also control the color, the brightness of each pixel individually, of course, too. 
So this is not your everyday RGB LEDs. So in our software, we use the Pico W's PIO, Programmable IO, to drive the LEDs. And this means we can do some things ridiculously fast. We have, we clocked it around 300 frames per second, allowing for like rock solid reliability, stability. So when it's being filmed, you don't get all that kind of flicker. And internally, the Cosmic Unicorn applies a gamma correction to the supplied image data and updates the display with 14-bit precision, resulting in extremely linear visual output including at the low end. <laughs> That's a fancy way of saying it just looks epic. Connecting the breakouts. So of course this comes with two Quest connectors on the Cosmic Unicorn, which makes it really easy to connect up extra things. So if your breakout has a Quest connector on board, you can simply plug it straight in with a GST-SH to GST-SH cable. And if you have a breakout garden that doesn't have the Quest connector on it, you can connect the GST-SH to GST-H. And we also have a little adapter that convert it to a breakout garden as well. If you want more than two breakouts at the same time, we have an adapter for that as well via SparkFun. And there is also a list of all the breakouts that are compatible with this with our C++ and MicroPython libraries on the website too. Other things to note, so measurement wise, this is a 204 by 204 millimeters square by 10 millimeters deep. There are seven mountain holes, which are all M2, and they're all placed three millimeters from the edge, and they are equally spaced 99 millimeters horizontally and vertically. The leg holes, we've added two sets just so that you can adjust the angle. Power consumption wise, so this uses on full brightness, one amp of power while on full white. I think the colors use slightly less than that because they're a mixture of the LEDs that make up a single pixel. So when you're choosing a battery, you need to consider that the LEDs look their best when they're drawing at least 3.6 volts of power. So at lower voltages, you'll see slight blue elements of the LEDs fading out, and that starts to become more noticeable about 2.9 volts. So for best results, when you're running on a battery, we suggest you use one of our chunky LiPo batteries and check out the extras tab for some suggestions. Note that the Cosmic Unicorn has no battery charging capability on the hardware, and this means we can safely use alkali or lipo batteries because it's not going to try and charge the alkali battery and we have separate battery chargers as well if you want them we like the lipo amigo and the lipo amigo pro for this so if we have a demo should we have a look what this looks like i'll look what this looks like so if over here on the captain's table i've got one of the uh the unicorns here you can see just how big this is if we compare this to the uh the original galactic unicorn you can see there it's uh it's obviously a lot taller than that. Okay, so let me get over to the captain's table and we can have a play around with some of the code. So there's a whole load of examples that come with this. So let's uh, open this up and have a play, shall we? So I've got the today example running at the moment. So this is simply uh, the current calendar time. Uh, let's go now for some scrolling text. Let me just run this one. Space is big, really big. Okay, let's have a look at uh, some rainbows now. So these yellows look particularly vibrant uh, in real life. One of the challenges I've had with this is trying to get the uh, the camera to show you exactly what I can see. So I've tried to adjust all the different properties there so that you can see um, the, the different colors. Uh, but because the LEDs are looking straight up into the sensor, sometimes they, they sort of blur out a little bit or look uh, a little bit washed out on camera. But in real life, these are very, very vibrant. You can see sort of the reflection on my hand probably even better uh, than the actual look on the screen there. So really nice uh, to look at. Okay, let's have a look at the next one, which is the nostalgia prompts. These are always the fun ones. I have this on the, the live stream in the background. So these ones are the uh, load dot dot. That's the spectrum one. We've got the basic, of course. There's the ready, which I think is that um, BBC? Or is it a Commodore 64? I'm not quite sure which is which there. The blue is not that easy to see on there, actually. Um, but the load you can see there. So next is the Melody Maker. So this comes with a speaker, of course. Um, this is a great example. <laughs> Let me just move the microphone see if you can hear this. It's quite audible. It's quite loud. It's just doing like random different sounds. And it looks like um, a sequencer with a start and an end. So next is the, the favourite, the Lava Lamp. This is really nice. Uh, I imagine just having this on in the background. It's just gently changing colors and so on. Looks really nice. Okay, next up we have the fire effect. I've seen this one quite a lot online now. It's a really nice effect in real life. You've got these really bright um, whites and these yellows. And in the very background there you can see there's these sort of grays as well. Okay, next up we have a feature test with audio. So this one kind of 
it's like a test mode let me just go back over here and uh, it's going to test all like the leds work all the different colors work with gradients and if i just lift up here there's four buttons on this side if i press a it's now playing some music if i press b it's playing it without the uh, drum track if i press d it's just doing a rising tone let's move the microphone so you can hear this if i do d it's got tone b so i'm going to press the a button again put it near the microphone you can hear that and see there when I hold it closely the, uh, the squircles the square round diffusers on there they look really nice in real life there we go quite like this example and there's a feature test that doesn't have the audio on as well if you just want to do that a, a bit quieter Okay, next is the, um, the I'm going to do the 80s supercomputer. I've not set up the Wi-Fi on this to, uh, to bring across all the track information for the exchange. Uh, so this one looks like a, a 1980s computer with all the different changing outputs. You can imagine this on the back of uh, Lost in Space or something like that. Okay, what else we got? We have the clock. Let's go for a clock. Stop that one there. So it's just connecting there. It's getting the current time. You can see there it's half past five. Now there's a number of other examples on here as well. So there's the NumPy ones, which are the similar to what we've just seen. Let's try the matrix. This is quite a nice one. Love this one. I can, I can see myself having this one on in the background. There's also Life, which is the, the famous game that was invented. We have another Fire Effect one. It's moving much quicker this time than the, the first one. Again, this looks really vibrant. If I move this to the uh, to the camera, there you might be able to see some of the the colours a bit better. See, that looks quite nice there. There we go. We also have another version of the fire one that says, "This is fine." Okay, so if you enjoyed that, you might enjoy watching some of my YouTube channel. I do all kinds of robotics, electronics, Raspberry Pi type projects. And I did one most recently on a Galactic Unicorn. So I created a Guitar Hero game using a standard Galactic Unicorn. And uh, it's quite a fun project to play. So check that out if you can. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.